How's it? This is short round and you're watching Gear and Trail. I stopped off on the side of the road on a little day bike packing trip and I wanted to revisit the all-in-one hammock and tarp suspension, but this time on a one-inch webbing. I'm going to show you in a couple seconds here. All right, check it out. About two years ago, Dutch came out with the Dutchware Tie Spiders. They were a lightweight, uh, you know, piece of hardware to adjust your hammock and hang from. Initially, I got them when they first came out, but it had a lot of problems with the uh, adjustment. Uh, come to find out, it had a lot to do with the flimsy webbing. So I started thinking about that spider again, and I was like, man, if I, if you could hang a hammock from it, surely you can tension out a tarp with it. So this time I went to Shell Toey and I got a much more burlier one inch webbing. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot heavier, but it's a lot stronger and it doesn't collapse like the webbing I had from Dutch. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a pair of one inch straps from Shell Toey Hammock Company and two pairs of Thai Dutch wear spiders. Now on here on this one inch webbing from Shell Toey, I have one of the spiders on the low end and one on the higher end. Obviously this is going to be for the hammock and this will be for the tarp. All right. What you want to do is take the continuous loop, wrap it under and over and through the top of the spider. All right. And then you can make your adjustments, moving up or down the webbing. And once you weight the hammock, it bites into the webbing, all right? Again, I find that the Shell Toei one-inch webbing is so much more thicker, or I don't know, it's just a more robust um, webbing. Even after weighting, I find it not to bunch up and collapse. I've had a lot of the Dutch wear straps I had, they they get sucked up through the top of the spider, which is why I stopped using it. All right. Now up top, I have the other Dutchware spider, which can you know move up and down as well. And this is where I'm going to place the end of my tarp and to tension the tarp out. So top spider, this is what I'm going to use to tension out my tarp. And then the bottom is where our hammock's hanging from. And as you can see, I can simply slide this up to start tensioning out my tarp. Then once there's tension between both ends, the tarp stays in place. That easy. All right, here's a wide angle view of me just tensioning out the tarp. <laughs> All right, this is a first. I forgot to clear the memory of my GoPro so um, now I'm shooting on my iPhone. Anyway, this is the proof of concept. So tarp, hammock, one inch webbing on four spiders and one of the things people always talked about is the issue with uh, Hennessy hammocks. Once you got in with a all-in-one setup everything would bow in and cave in, the, the ridge line would cave in and the sides would cave in. So I'm here to show you that this doesn't happen. All right, time to demonstrate. <laughs> As you see, fully weighted in the hammock, the sides aren't caving in, the top of the structure ridge line of the tarp isn't caving in, so there you go. Right, this is a close-up of after the system was weighted. As you can see, the um, the webbing isn't collapsing like the stuff I got from Dutch. And then up here, you have the tarp, and you'll see the tension it's taking, and it's not collapsing the webbing there either. All right, here's the inside view. About to get in, and you're going to see no movement of the sides or the roof line of the tarp. A 
fully weighted and nothing. I mean, I can't even touch the edge of my tarp. And over here, it's within arm's reach. There we go. And there it is. All right, so there you have it. Proof is in the pudding. As you can see, you can achieve an all-in-one hammock and tarp setup on one inch webbing with four tied Dutch gear spiders. You can get those, of course, the touch wear. <laughs> All right, what I was trying to say is you can get the spiders at DutchWearGear.com and the robust one inch webbing at Shell Toey Hammock Company. I hope this helps someone out today. And thanks for watching Short Round Wild, wild Girls Gone Wild. If you're not familiar with the, where am I looking? If you're not familiar with those sites, I'll leave them in the links below. This is Short Round. Thanks for watching Gear and Trail. I hope this helps somebody out. Peace.